Despite an emotional plea from her widower, Twitter has declined to delete tweets sent by President Donald Trump insinuating MSNBC host Joe Scarborough murdered a former employee while serving in the U.S. House of Representatives. Timothy Klausudis, husband of the late Lori Klausudis, who worked as one of Scarborough's staffers when he represented Florida's first district, asked Twitter chief executive Jack Dorsey to remove a series of tweets the president has sent about his wife's death in a powerful letter last week. Klausudis wrote that there has been a constant barrage of falsehoods, half-truths, innuendo and conspiracy theories since the day she died, and expressed frustration with the fact that conspiracy theorists, including most recently the President of the United States, continue to spread their bile and misinformation on your platform disparaging the memory of my wife and our marriage. He also asked Twitter's leader to consider his feelings, I am now angry as well as frustrated and grieved, he wrote, as well as the feelings of his late wife's relatives, some of whom are too young to have met her. It pains me to think they would ever have to learn about her this way, he wrote. Trump has latched onto a baseless conspiracy theory about Lori Klausudis' death as a means of attacking Scarborough, who has become one of his most vocal media critics. Although police have determined no foul play was involved in her death, Trump has suggested otherwise for several years and has worked to publicize the issue in recent weeks with tweets like one he sent on May 12, did he get away with murder? Some people think so. Since then, the president, and his son Donald Trump Jr., have both repeatedly suggested the television host killed his former staffer. Trump even did so again Tuesday morning, hours after Klausudis's letter began to receive national attention. Days after Klausudis asked the social media platform to remove the president's tweets, CNN's Donny O'Sullivan reported that Twitter declined the request without giving a reason, though the company said it was deeply sorry for the pain Trump's tweets have caused the family. Twitter's decision to leave the tweets up as in line with its policy, one that considers world leaders' tweets as inherently newsworthy and ungovernable by the platform's normal terms of service, even if they are in clear violation of those rules. As many of his tweets have, Trump's allegations of murder do violate Twitter's terms of service, as Klausudis's letter points out. The president has used this special privilege to make a number of baseless attacks against his political enemies and media critics. The tweets about Scarborough are merely the latest example of this.